Here's what's cooking in Shale's kitchen today. Stewed saltfish or saltfish stew. Mummy just made some really delicious paratha roti and that's going to go perfectly with the stewed saltfish. Here I have some saltfish already prepared for the pot. I like to soak mine overnight in boiling water to get off all the excess salt before cooking. First I'm going to saute some onions, garlic and tomatoes in some cooking oil with some butter added because I really love that flavor. And I'm also going to add some hot peppers, a chopped up um, habanero pepper. You can add as much or as little as you like or just leave that out if you do not like hot and spicy food. I love the smell of onions and garlic cooking together. I just added the tomatoes to the onions and garlic and I'm going to cook this on a high to medium high heat until the tomatoes start to get a little tender. When the tomatoes are partially cooked, I add my saltfish and then I'm going to let everything cook up together on a high to medium high heat until all the flavors are blended. Since you're cooking on a high to a medium high heat, you're going to want to stir your pot pretty regularly to prevent sticking to the bottom of the pot. And also, you're going to want to taste your stew saltfish before adding any additional salt because since um, you know that the salt fish might have enough salt as it is, so please taste first before adding any additional salt. Let me just taste a little bit of this. Mm, it's perfect. No salt needed. It's great, just the way it is. So here's a stewed salt fish. You know, this is a great meal for any time of the day. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So here's my saltfish stew with some paratha roti that mommy just made. So let me show you how to eat this. You just grab some roti with your fingers and scoop like this. That's the way to do it, Indian style. Eat in with your fingers. Thank you. That's delicious. And you can lick your fingers too. Don't be afraid. 